Right, Toyota champs, and remember that thing I said to never do on your M1 Mac? Well, today we're going to do it on the M1 Mac. We're going to either toast this thing or we're going to, you know, find out how to get into recovery, completely wipe it and install a new operating system and just some more of the other security stuff. So that video I made, do not do this on your M1 Mac or you're done, that was sound advice at the time. Has things changed? Well, let's find out. You know, cross some fingers here. Hopefully I don't brick it, but hopefully you'll find out something educational about this. And by the way, I already have a USB stick with Big Sur. Yes, the operating system named after me. I am the Big Sur. And there are plenty of videos around showing you how to make a bootable USB with the operating system on. And yeah, just, you know, search for it. You'll find out how to do that. But we're going to do it now. First thing is, I want to sign out, right? And the reason I want to sign out is I don't want some sort of half brick thing where someone can recover it or whatever because I don't know what's going to happen. So let's just sign out and then we'll reboot. All right, so we're signed out. One other thing I would suggest you do is actually sign out to like if you're, you know, got Chrome or whatever, sign out of Chrome, all that sort of thing. And also remove your fingerprint just to be safe, right? Uh, this isn't for the faint hearted. So that fingerprint is gone now let's do it and what we want to do here is just shut the mac shut it down all right so we want to press and hold down the power button i might as well plug this in make sure your battery's fully charged or you got it on the adapter so i'm going to press this hold in here continue holding for startup options there we go we're loading up the startup options whoa there goes my light and i just can let it go now i guess Okay, let's go to options and you'll have to sign in here. Okay, so we have some options for store from Time Machine, reinstall Mac OS Big Sur, Safari, Disk Utility. And I just want to go to this startup utility and go to this and yeah, let's unlock it, I guess. And we go to security policies and I just want to put reduce security tick all these things i'm just going to do this so that there's nothing in the way of me trying to you know install from this usb i don't know if it's necessary all right so it's applied no settings there operation couldn't be completed what the hell is this crap now it said it couldn't be completed i don't know what that error is but if i go to security policies now coming up with that so let's just restart and see what happens i'm going to hold the button in right so i'll just continue holding this button so the best thing to do is just shut down really rather than restart but i'm just uh restarted and holding the button here all right so the reason i'm doing this is i just want to see if those security policies have stuck now usually you just go to install mac os big sur and that's the usb stick there but um i just want to see if those security settings have stuck and we want to go to utilities startups uh, security utility uh, we want to select that unlock it so yes yeah, so it has stuck there reduce security and I have these two things checked I'll shut down rather than restart so again let's press down the power button and hold it and now we're gonna do the dangerous thing of deleting the whole volume here and see what happens um, and we'll see if we can install freshly from the USB or some other recovery methods um, people were bricking there m1 max doing this wish me luck wish me luck all right so we've got the options here all right so let's go to options continue all right so this time we know the security settings have stuck now we're going to disk utility we're going to do the dangerous thing here oh i'm scared now all right so what i want to do here is go up to the top menu here and go to view and then show all devices all right so it's showing me the root of this ssd now so i'm not deleting this not deleting this i'm just deleting this the actual root of it now it actually only just deletes this but i'm old school just go straight to the source and let's erase it <laughs> we'll call it same thing macintosh hd Macintosh HD, just in case I have to go to the Apple store and they're going to go, what the hell's going on here? We'll just, yeah, let's do it. <gasps> failed, failed. Okay, so what happened there? It doesn't allow you to do this or... 
you know, I can do this on my Intel Macs. I do this on my Intel Macs all the time. All right, let's try that again. APS, GUI table, erase. And it's gonna come up that error again. All right. So let's just delete this, the Macintosh HD. Let's just erase that and see what happens. Same thing, erase it. Oh, it lets me do this. It's essentially the same thing. If you know how APS works, it's, you know, you can make all these containers and stuff, yeah. All right, so that Macintosh HD is wiped now. So that means everything should be wiped. Let's try and install fresh, you know, Big Sur. Let's see what we can do. I guess I could do, yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? See, the problem here is I haven't actually wiped my drive. See, I've only wiped Macintosh HD, so that sucks. So I want to get out of here and see if I can do it from the actual USB stick. Um, I don't think it's going to let me do what I want to do, which is delete just everything, even the recovery partition, everything. It's not going to let me do that, it doesn't look like. So let's just shut it down. All right, so I'm pressing and holding the power button there. Press and hold the power button. All right, hold for more options. All right, so as you can see, Macintosh HD is gone now. So that's one thing. Now, if I try and install Mac OS Big Sur, will it install it from the USB like I'm trying to do? I don't know. Let's just do it. Continue. Agree. Agree here. Install on that. Let's do it. No users available for authorization. An error has occurred while reading the device of the owners. Ensure that the user is allowed to... Well, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. So... I don't know what that means. But let's try and install it from here then. And I guess that's not the USB. I agree. Oh, let's install it on this one. Continue. Okay. So I'm thinking this is brick now, which I don't know. I don't care really. Um, <laughs> dang, dude, is if anyone can help me now, I don't know what's going on now. How do you get around this now? Ooh, that's a bit interesting. Anyway, I think I've bricked it. So don't do it. Don't do it on your one. You're going to be toast. All right, catch you in the next one. So let's quickly go through what I've done. I went into the recovery. I deleted my Macintosh HD volume. And then I went back out and booted to the USB to try and install. Didn't work, right? Little change. Boot from the USB first. Then go and delete your volume. And then install Mac OS. And that won't happen. It shouldn't happen. I'll leave a link in the description to a guy that's actually done it the right way. But I wanted to see what would happen. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally. Oh.